Thompson here and I'm going to share how I watercolor with tissue paper. So I've got a piece of white tissue paper, it's just plain white, uh, you can get it in just about any store. And I've got a piece of paper towel, a water mister, and I've also got a palette knife I use for moving ink around, and you'll see that later. Now you can use just about any color medium to color your tissue paper, as long as you can dilute the medium with water. So I'm going to start out with Distress Inks, and the procedure is the same no matter what color medium you're using. So you put, put some color onto your mat, I'm using three colors here, and you want to have the ink just about the same size as the tissue paper, because you can't move the tissue paper around when it's wet, so you want the ink to fill the space. And I'm spritzing with lots of water. And now I'm going to use my palette knife just to mix the colors a bit so I don't have blocks of color. And then I'm going to drop the tissue paper in and you'll see it absorbs the ink right away. Now I'm going to carefully pick it up. Now this is it's a little bit delicate when it's wet and sometimes you'll rip the corners, but most of the time it works just great. You pull it up, put it on your tissue paper, and you can see that we've, I've created a beautiful watercolor background without using any watercolor paper. So it's a really nice and expensive way to create a watercolor look. Now if you find that the colors aren't intense enough for you, you can layer colors, drawing in between each time. This piece has two layers of ink on it, and you can see it's very intense compared to the first one. It looks beautiful against the white cardstock. You need to have the white backing for the tissue paper colors to show. Now as I mentioned, you can use any color medium as long as you can dilute it with water. So dye inks, distress inks, distress oxide inks, watercolor sprays, stains, even acrylic paints will work. As well as watercolor paints and also uh, brushes work really well. And it's the same procedure, always put the color on the mat, spray with water and drop your tissue paper on top. I'll show you some of the different finishes depending on the medium I've used. This one is done with watercolor sprays and you can see that the colors are very intense with just one layer. This is a mix of Distress inks and Dox inks, Distress Oxide inks. This is dye inks from Stampin' Up! but any dye inks would work. And this is a sample of the technique with brush -outs. So you can create beautiful watercolor backgrounds for very little money. Now I've been experimenting for a couple weeks with this and I have lots of backgrounds using all different colors and different mediums and everything seemed to work really well for me. I'm also going to share a few other techniques that I use with the watercolor to tissue paper backgrounds. First I'm going to show you how to add metallics. Now you can add those with the paints when you're first dipping your tissue paper or you can add it afterwards. As I said, you can always do a second layer or third layer on the tissue cup paper. So I just want to show you the different inks, uh, different golds I've used. Now this one is Lumiere acrylic paint. Creates beautiful gold shimmer. This one is Inca gold. They're all a little different, but they all create a beautiful gold shimmer. This one uses Perfect Pearls. And the last one uses Delicata Gold Reinker. So as I said, you can use anything that you have in your studio that's a metallic to add some shimmer on top of your beautiful watercolored backgrounds. The watercolor tissue paper dries in about 15 to 20 minutes and then you can glue it directly onto a piece of white cardstock to create a watercolor background or for die cutting. But there's lots of other techniques that you can use with the tissue paper. I'm just crumpling one up and I'm opening it up and you'll see that the tissue paper has lots of texture on it with all its crinkles and creases. I'm going to take some inexpensive craft glue and put some onto a piece of white cardstock and then spread it with the sponge to cover the entire surface of the cardstock. Now 
Now as I place the tissue paper on top, I'm pressing in to create even more creases and texture onto the background as I glue it down. This creates a beautiful watercolored and textured background that you can use for your cards or for die cutting. Now I have a dry version here of the same technique and I'm going to just show how you can take it a step further by adding some heat embossing. Now I first saw this technique on Karen's Creative Cards blog and she calls it metallic tissue paper and she agreed that I could use this on my video so I want to thank Karen for that. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my embossing buddy and I'm adding lots of powder to make sure there's no static and then I'm taking my Versamark pad and lightly swiping across the top just to catch the highlights of the textured tissue paper. I've got gold embossing. I'm now going to pour that over top. And I'm going to knock off the excess and you can see how it just stuck to where the tissue paper is raised. Once in a while you might get a few little blobs of embossing powder and you can just wipe those off with your finger or a paintbrush. Now I'm going to heat set this. And you can see how the uh, gold just glitters from the embossed uh, creases. It's just beautiful effect and makes for a lovely background or die cutting. I'm now going to share how I use the watercolor tissue paper with acetate. I buy these from Amazon and I'll put a link to the product in the description below the YouTube video. You'll see that they come with tissue paper in between each sheet and that's what I've been using to make my watercolor tissue backgrounds. Now these sheets are 12 inch by 12 inch and I cut them in four so that I can work with six inch, six inch square pieces which is much easier to deal with. So I have a piece here and I'm just going to add some good quality glue you need good quality in order to get the tissue to stick to the acetate. I'm using Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I'm just using a sponge to spread it over the whole surface. Now you need to use a good quality acetate for this. The ones that come in the back of stamps will not stick to anything. Now this will dry clear. You can see that it was white but it will dry clear. So I have one here that I've done where I've placed the tissue paper on flat and glued it down to the acetate. This time I'm going to use a scrunch piece to create some texture. So you can get two different looks with the acetate sheets. Now for the first one that I uh, glued on flat, I use that for die cutting. You can't die cut tissue paper without it ripping or tearing and the acetate keeps it nice and solid and you can use it for a die cut. The second one which is scrunched up, I'm going to use it, turn it over and use the acetate side to create my card panel and I'm going to heat emboss. I find these uh, sheets will take the heat embossing. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did please give me a thumbs up and I'll share some cards I've made with the watercolor tissue paper. Thanks for watching.